The most widespread method to make guns for video games is to create a high poly and then make a low poly based on the high poly and bake on it. But a few months ago I tried to go out of my ordinary style and create something low poly with perfect shading without any normal map. And that was done by using a vertex normal scheme, which I applied on every single piece in this uh, model. And I want to show you how it is done, especially if we get a matcap, you can see that it is very clean everywhere, especially on this uh, hole, which uh, was the main problem. If it wasn't for this place, I wouldn't have um, gotten such nice results on the rest. I have tried to find this method on YouTube. Sadly enough, no one really did it. I uh, don't to uh, understand why because it's really an underrated feature and I wish that more people would know about it. Well, let's start. Basically, this is the model without any custom uh, normals, vertex normals. When you model uh, an object normally, uh, <laughs> normally, yeah, I'm a comedian, I know, you get uh, bad results like uh, that stretch. Do you see that? I don't know if YouTube compressed it or not, but I can clearly see it there. And this is a model um, that already uh, has the modifier from that one, but it is applied. And the problem when it is applied is that if you edit it or anything, the, um, the normals uh, destroy themselves. This is why when you maybe imported an object from the internet, it has custom normals and if you modify it, it will look bad. And this, uh, let's start from the beginning. Okay, so what I will show you how to do is set face strength. If you want to fix this bad shading, let's get a better um, man cap like this. There's a huge difference. You need to apply a uh, weighted normal over here at modifiers, but it is not enough. You Even if it helps the shading a lot, you still have those stretches. For those, also the sharps are unmarked, so keep sharp. Well, what I did here was that um, I separated the bevels, those um, bevels over here, with um, the main pieces, which are these ones, here and here. Those don't have to be connected to each other because they don't have to influence each other's shading. Okay, so how would, do we do it? Uh, you need to manually select every single bevel in your piece. I already did and I set uh, materials. You don't uh, have to set a different material, but I do this because as you can see, uh, well, not this, material. It is much easier to select everywhere if I have a custom material on every single piece. It helps me work with it easier. Anyway, we selected all of the bevels in face select and we have to press Alt N. Uh, Alt N to go to set face strength and set the bevels to medium. Then that we set the normal face strength of the bevels to medium, we have to press Control I to inverse select, to select everything else other than what we have selected already. And press again Alt N and send the face strength to strong. Now, if we go back to single shading and uh, better matcap, also, uh, we still have those because in modifier we didn't enable face influence. This always has to be ticked when you work with those. You can see what huge of a difference this makes. So this uh, without face influence, it looks that bad because this uh, part over here is calculating, cal calculating its shading based on that uh, thing over there. So this is the best way to go around it. I um, really love this technique, especially since before this I used to mark sharp and even if sharp uh, helps it, like if we go everywhere around that place and mark everything as sharp, yeah, it fixes the problem, but um, it defeats the purpose of having a smooth edge. Don't mark sharps everywhere because it's uh, not that good looking. This is why I'm using this technique. It won't work if like those are, here is not a bevel, but you create a normal uh, edge unless you sharpen it. But um, basically what this workflow revolves around is to make multiple uh, main 
sides let's see material like this lighter red or well white over here and uh, the bevels to connect each other so when you enable the weighted modify weighted normals with uh, face influence and keep sharp if you mark sharp i marked uh, sharp inside so uh, i don't have to add extra topology to this place but i could if i wanted i could bevel this and set it as a red uh, material which means bevel and set it to um, face influence medium and the rest to high and uh, as you can see on the rest of the model i uh, applied it on all of the edges over here everywhere and uh, it changes the um, shading a lot if we go around here let's go to single again you can see this very nice uh, sharp line here and the shading is pretty good even if well it doesn't have an end gun here but it had in other pieces and if we disable it you can see that bad shading over there and uh, it basically looks like a cube that just got smoothed out like this i i hated this look like a pillow you know uh, and i can enable this and I wanted to show you this piece because here is an end gun, it will tr be triangulated, but even if you triangulate, the shading will stay the same. And uh, well, let's do it right now actually, triangulate, move it here, like this. You can apply it if you want. It is triangulated from an end gun, and this side is still uh, uh, shading smoothly. I don't actually want to triangulate it because it, I didn't duplicate it before, but that's the point. So yeah, um, as a final thing to say, I want to thank Ngon. He helped me figure out this um, setting, <laughs> which allowed me to develop another work style. I will link his art station below. And um, as a final warning, um, don't um, don't do Roblox. I, this model was actually for a Roblox dev and um, I got scammed. He was supposed to pay me $60, but as this model got finished, he tried to lowball me at $40 and uh, even 60 was low for the days of work that I put into it and uh, it wasn't nice. Treat them like kids that uh, try to scam you, ask beforehand or something. I don't know if it's a company, ask for a legal contract and specify every single detail there. But uh, yeah, Roblox is not to be trusted. I hope um, I, th that this uh, tutorial was helpful to you. And uh, if you created anything out of it, uh, please show me. I am interested uh, in this. So uh, yeah, bye guys.